Hello. It's been a while since I've done a video. With the release of the 1.0, I cannot resist, and here we are. I've only just started playing, and this is a vehicle I have just finished crafting for the purposes of getting science from around the base. I've already been around once and acquired some science. It worked so well. I wanted to show people so you guys can take full advantage of this. Let me just show you the stuff I've unlocked and the places you would need to go to craft this. As you see here, I've uh, got lots unlocked. This particular one that I'm showing you here is the only one that you need to really work towards. If you can get to that one, the other ones aren't necessary. You just pick up the engineering here for the science, and then you move on to the other one. The ones up here that I've picked up were for setting the height, speed and distance records plus doing some other little quests I've been doing, or missions should I say. But, without further ado, this is it in action. The reason this works so well is it takes advantage of one of the new parts in 1.0, which is the steerable wheels. Uh, make sure you toggle the torque off when you get this thing going that will drain all of your electricity. Because you're running the engine at the minimum thrust possible, it basically uses no fuel. So you're not generating any uh, electricity. If you unlock batteries, you could actually send back more than one crew report. In fact, you could probably send them all back if you had enough electricity. There are nine buildings in total, I believe. Um, so if you were to stick a few more of these science pods you could in fact do all nine in one hit but I'm doing three rounds because it's worth getting science from each one twice as you'll see as I go around you get 7.5 for the first time you get science from a building and then 1.6 for the second and if you get the goo container you get three for the first and 1.4 I think it is or 0.7 for the second time. So if you do three rounds you can get all nine buildings twice and um, yeah it should give you a nice amount of science to actually get yourself running. There you go 1.6 there from the first science. Get a crew report and I'll send that back and then you can uh, see the problem with the electricity. It drains three quarters of the uh, amount. But yeah, I'm just going to drive around. You know, I haven't actually tr tested to see if this thing would fly. It's quite surprising some of the stuff that will fly in this game. I will test that after I finish my little uh, trip here. But I'm looking forward to it. I've not actually done a proper career mode. I tried the career mode in 0.9 but I found it to be very slow, very sluggish. Uh, the amount of credits you started with and the speed at which you acquire them just felt too slow to upgrade the buildings. I found that I needed to upgrade the buildings really early to be able to build what I wanted to build. And it, it, I felt like I was being held back. I, I didn't much enjoy it so I went back to just playing in a sandbox and building some crazy stuff. But this time I'm liking the new science progression path. You seem to get a lot more starting credits. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, so far at least, feeling a lot better. I won't do all nine of them, I'm just going to get six here. I'm sure you guys can uh, figure out where all the different places are. If you go into the debug menu, I believe there's actually a way of searching for all of the various uh, biomes. So you'll be able to see exactly where you need to go. I'm just kind of guessing. I just assume each of these um, hexagon square things, well, hexagon shape things, should I say, are uh, each of the biomes for now. If I feel I need science later on, I can always have a closer look. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Getting quite a bit of science for this. Put the brakes on, and uh, we'll see how much science we got for that. And then I'm going to see if this thing will fly, which should be interesting. 
Okay, here we go, recover the vessel. And 21.8, that's not too bad for a few minutes. I've got a lot more than this the first time round, I've got about 60 or so. Yeah, there you go, 7.5 for one of them. Jebediah are really, really slow on gaining the experience. But let's see if this thing will take off. I doubt it will, it doesn't even have any bleeding wings, but who knows? Load, damn it. Okay. I'm worried more about this bumpy path than anything. Okay. Oh, God, I'm thinking it's going to die. No, no, no. Yes! Oh, my God, it's taking off. Oh, yes. Look at this, guys. Who the hell would have thought this? Well, you can actually see it's using fuel this time. <laughs> Still not using that much at max throttle. Now you see why it uses so little at 1% throttle. Oh my. Oh, it's tipping up. It's tipping up. Down. Down, boy. Down. Down. Jebediah. No. No. Okay. How far would this thing go? Could I even land it? It's going pretty damn quick. Oh, this is going to be a real beast to land. Let's let's try and turn it. Let's try and turn this. If if I if I can land this, I'll be impressed. Although I'm quite uh, impatient, I can't imagine that this thing would be able to land at a slow speed. Maybe if I had a flat runway, I could do it. But since I've not upgraded it, it's all bumpy and dirt tracky. I I can't imagine it would be a very uh, soft landing. And without any wings or surfaces to give any up lift, it's going to be a problem to land at any form of decent speed here. But, let's give it a go. Okay. I'm really hoping that this thing lands. Oh god. Up, down, I need to throttle down. Nope, this is a problem. Even with this level, at, at this speed it's still dropping. Come on, pull the nose up, pull up! Yes! Okay, I might be able to rescue this. I'm still falling at 10% there. Come on, I cannot have a 10 degree fall. 5 degree. Okay, let's go for it. No, 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 no. Ah, crap, it's going to blow up. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, keep tuned for more 1.0 videos. Just like, comment and subscribe if you want to see them. And I'll see you in the next video. And I'll try and land it.